So as we saw in a prior segment, we can now manipulate the user coordinate system by interacting with the UCS icon using these new multifunctional grips and using hover over controls to get to the shortcut functionalities that allow us to easily manipulate the UCS. So first what we do is select the UCS icon, exposing its multifunctional grips, and then we hover over the axis that we would like to control, in this case the X. So what we'll do here is note that we can rotate the X axis either around the Y or the Z axis itself. In order to use this control, you do have to understand what a positive rotation about that axis will be. So use the right hand rule. So if we were to perform a rotation around the Y axis, this one, what you would do is point your right hand thumb in the direction of the Y axis. Your right fingers will now wrap around the Y, indicating a positive rotation. So if I perform a rotate around the Y axis with a positive value of 90, I would expect the X to wind up pointing straight down. Based on the current context, it would be opposite where the Z axis is now. So let's check that out. So we'll go ahead and select rotate around the Y axis. We'll be prompted for a value, which I will input as a positive 90. And sure enough, the X axis is now pointing straight down. Now, if we wanted to get back to where we were before, you could undo obviously, but you could also hover over this control, which is the origin, and then simply set it back to world. Next, what we want to look at is a case where we have a coordinate system actually on a geometric plane, and we might want to reorient either the X or the Y to a certain point. So what I'll do now is simply expose the gripping points, hover over the origin, and I will move and align. I'll go ahead and place it on a panel up here. So I'll hop over to a different viewport and go ahead and allow it to select that. So what we see is that when we move in a line, the Z axis is held normal, but what if we wanted to actually point the Y to some point over here along the geometry? What we would do is simply hover over that point. We would select the Y axis direction and the Y axis is now simply rotating or following us along. Please notice that it responds to tracking or anything else that you would do. It will also respond to things like O snap points. We did here. So it's very easy to now rotate that around and that's particularly useful when your XY coordinate plane is already locked onto geometry. So by using these axis controls, it's very easy to reorient either directionally by using this functionality or rotationally by using one of these two. And really the only trick is to realize that you have to understand what a positive rotation will be around a given axis or that you need some sort of locational point like an O snap or a tracking line to assist you in locating any other axis. It's really just that simple, multifunctional grips and hover over controls.